Hi. No, just look. Just we know you are. <coughs> Give me your your name, your school affiliation. Dave Luce, Austin P State University. And everything else addressed to Jimmy. Tell us your general thoughts about the upcoming season. We're, we're excited about the season. Uh, we're coming off of a rough year, and I think we're, we're improved. Um, our guard play, uh, I thought, was a little shaky last year. We, I think we're improved and strengthened there. Uh, fortunately, we'll, uh, or uh, hopefully, I should say, we, we will be able to remain healthy. That's been a problem for us over the last uh, couple of seasons. We had uh, three key starters uh, miss a total of 54 games, I think, over the last two years. So if we can stay healthy and, and uh, uh, you know, we've got some good uh, veterans back in Triggs, Beatran, and Horton, uh, I'm optimistic. What do you like most about your team this year? I think we've uh, strengthened ourselves on the defensive end. I think we play with a little more toughness, and uh, I think we'll be better defensively, and, and that was an Achilles for us. What was the biggest challenge for your team this year? I think, uh, you know, improving on the defensive end, taking better care of the basketball, uh, being able to get uh, more transition baskets, not having to hammer everything out in the half court. What do you think of, about the OVC overall this year? I think it's going to be strong again, uh, although, at, uh, you know, at the same time, uh, some people took some some heavy losses to, to graduation, so um, you know hopefully that will uh, provide uh, for some balance in the league. What will it take for your team to cut down the nets in Nashville in March? Well, I think we've got a bunch of new guys, so you know we're going to have to bring this thing together pretty quickly. Uh, but I but I like our new people, and I of course like the the guys that I've mentioned that are coming back. So I think we've got a good blend of, uh, of uh, experience and, and new people on our team that are going to make us uh, hopefully a contender. How has the recent success the OVC has had in the NCAA tournament both pushed your program and made the conference better? Well, I think uh, the success of the teams in our league is, is, uh, you know, uh, causes everybody to step it up to turn it up a few notches, and certainly, uh, you know, that's what we're trying to do. The OVC has had four current players in the NBA. What can that exposure mean to all the schools in the league? I'm sorry, you'll have to repeat that one. <laughs> the OVC has four current players in the NBA. Mm -hmm. What can that exposure mean to all the schools in the league? Well, I think it's uh, it's really important. You know, it, it does uh, give us a, a real uh, an awareness around the country and, and helps with our recruiting, you know, because people can identify with uh, guys like Fareed that, uh, you know, recently played in the league. And now you've got two guys from this past season who are, who are uh, going to be in the league. So it, uh, it's real important in recruiting and, and the awareness of the, of the schools in our league. Tell us about your non-conference. I think it's I think it's competitive. It, uh, we've got a good balance of uh, mid majors and, and uh, high majors. We we will play Vanderbilt and Memphis uh, from the high major group, and and uh, we have uh, you know mid major games with uh, with Samford, uh, with Lipscomb, um, Youngstown State. We're in an exempt event at Central Michigan, so Southern Illinois. Uh, good good blend and very competitive. Yeah. I would I would consider Vanderbilt a high a high 